Hello, my name's Phil Jones. I've been a wood turner now for 37 years. I want to show you today a little bit about the basics on the grinder, freehand grinder that is. First off is the controls, start and stop. Only you've got the isolator for if you're changing a wheel or anything, wrong way sorts of lines. Single phase of just have a domestic three phase, a uh, single phase plug and a switch. Okay. The wheels are 46 grit and 60. The higher the number, the finer the wheel. Okay. The rest needs to be at 90 degrees. The reason the rest needs to be at 90 degrees is for entrapment. Is because if it's at 90 degrees and you did happen to catch your finger, you're very unlikely to actually get trapped. Whereas if you've got a big gap or the rest was at an angle, it would lead your finger to go in between. If you've got a sharpening system, which is sorry, for the grinding jigs, for gouges and the like, the temptation is, is to use the round bar as a, a tool rest. Again, the problem with that is it would lead for your finger to go in between the wheel and the rest. It would be very unpleasant. The next thing is as you're using the wheel, when you're grinding tools, you should all, never use any non-ferrous materials, i.e. aluminium, brass, on grinding wheels. But even using steel, high-speed steel, or carbon steel, metal will be deposited on the wheels. And the wheels will become gradually, out, very slightly out of true, and as you're grinding, the tools will bump. So you need to dress the wheels. Dressing the wheels reveals a new grinding or abrasive surface and it also keeps the wheel true. This is a devil stone. They're fairly cheap. The problem being though is if you drop them they break. So it wouldn't be my choice to go for a devil stone if I was buying one. This is a diamond dresser, flat bar. Very easy to keep a nice flat surface. Again, my preference is a single point diamond dresser because you get a, a good lump of diamond and you can also shape the corners of the wheel if you did so desire. The important thing with the single point diamond dresser is, is you don't want to keep dropping off the edge of the wheel because over the course of time you'll leave, lose your diamond. Okay. You also need a quench pot which is a lot of the time for like high speed steel things is for your own comfort rather than the, the actual tool whereas if you're doing car turning or grinding carbon steel you do need a quench pot to preserve the metal if it burns on high speed on carbon steel the steel will be damaged and also the other thing to have is a piece of rough wood so you can just drag the tool through if you've got a burr and you want to get rid of it. Okay, thank you for watching today. I hope that helps.